Number five, Ethan Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Should I ask? Was it? Yeah. Was it Jack or was it yeah, Tony? It, it was Jack. Jack. It was Jack. Okay. Yeah. I saw it getting set up. I was like. You gotta, re you gotta remind me once in a while that I gotta follow the play <laughs> instead of watching the play. <laughs> Nice play. PK. Bobby Knight. Nice. Nice.
solid 10 yards behind where it happened. Oh, that's a great, that's a great ball. That was a nice kick. Wow. Mehmet's living down in uh, Providence and has been working for a year and a half. Wow, what's he doing? It's just trouble. Whoa. How was that? I don't know, but he certainly wasn't in a position to make it. Oh, that's great. That's a nice, that's a nice one. That's really totally out of position. That was crazy. Really a beautiful shot, too. I mean, put it in the right place. Nice. Good job, White. Oh, yes. Nice. Is he outside? I guess not. Hayes made a great save.
that's their fourth kid to get injured at. I don't think he knew who was going to kick the ball. Yeah. They made that, that probably is part of Ryan's thing. I think it, it is. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Jack! Here we go! Oh, go, Jack! Go! Oh, Jack! Go! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Three of them! Oh! Jack, one on! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes. Put it in. Yes. Nice, Wyatt.
Cole had it, kicks it away. Jack crosses it. Nice Brock. Go pull center. Nice, go! This is a CVTSport.net local sports video production. Take a long shot, deflects in the net, and beauty is put to it. It's Ryan Shea. Smart. This joint Orca Media CVTSport.net full game video features U32 out Harwood and boys soccer. Carl Parton and Anna Grierson make the call. Across.
direction. This is Guthrie Drake that will be taking this set piece. Sent in right about the six. Nice, nice job that time. And I'm guessing that was Ewald. I can't make out his number, but uh, yep, it was. And saw Will before the game, and we had a little chat, and he was talking about how uh, they just haven't got over the hump with this team. And uh, here's an opportunity. Jack Shea is open, puts it in, and it's through the legs of the keeper for Harwood. Jack Shea puts U32 on the board, one to nothing with 27 minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the first. Guys, pass. You got Zach. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Come on, Ian. Yes, come on, yes. Boy. You know, a controversial PK. Jack got it. And, oh. oh my God. Who took the. Like this. Yep. Or begin like this. Right. 
and it is the beginning. You're right. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. He's a freshman to kid.
Yeah! Oh, come on, boys! Go! No. Oh. Go, Brock! Oh! Jack, they're stalling. They're just hoping for a tie. You can do it, buddy. They just want to go to PKs. Nice throw. Let's go, boy. Shoot it, Cole. Yeah. Yeah.
Good afternoon and welcome to South Burlington where it's boys division two championship soccer time. Today's championship soccer matchup features the number one ranked Burren Burton Bulldogs against the U32 Raiders. I'm Carl Parton and with me today Commentating this game, as always, for our 2011 soccer coverage for CBTSport.net is Tom Corbett. Tom, welcome. The feet of Harry Forbes. Forbes gets it taken away by Danu. Danu looks to get it up to Jack Shea. Jack back over to the middle to Elmore. Ends up at the feet of Danu. He'll get inside the 18, but a good job. Flying out from the crossbars is Mike Nolan to make the sliding save. Aggressive start there for both the Raiders and Mike Nolan coming out quickly. He ain't taking any chances. Now Jack Shea did a little slide tackle on that one and he did a split and he was really, he's still hobbling around a little bit gingerly out there. If uh, that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. We certainly hope Shea didn't uh, pull a muscle or something on that one. That's not a player U32 can afford to be without on that field. He continues to limp and it is, it's or goes over his head. And the sweeper tries to clear. Intercepted by Jack Shea, who continues to limp. Not a good sign as Jack Shea not running back, barely galloping. Hirsch knocks it off the legs of Max Gomez. One of the things I've noticed early here with this Burn Burton team, they have a good system defense there. They keep their spacing and uh, challenge, uh, challenging an offensive player with multiple, multiple defenders instead of one. Got to take a time here to check on Jack Shea as the official saw him limping around. Not moving very well, but he is refusing to come out of this game. As I have a funny feeling it would take a bone sticking out to get Shea off that soccer field. Long throw into Casicio. Casicio down the left sideline battling with England. England tries to save it. He falls into the long jumper's pit, crossed into the middle. Knocked outside, Daniel with him. And Shea, Shea does take a knee on the far side of the pitch and he'll step out. And all we can say is we certainly hope it's something that's a quick ice repair or something, uh, but uh, not feeling like he can go out there. And like I said, it's gonna take a lot to get him off this field. And Casicio clears it to the middle, looking for Daniel at his feet, but he couldn't get a foot on it. Blast left side but it's gonna go wide by Hepper. 
Nice thought indeed by Hepburn there. And U32 has had it on the Burn Burton end for the majority of uh, this first half, even without the services of uh, team captain and superstar Jack Shea. So U32 has to feel pretty good about uh, the way their team is playing as a group and as a unit right now. Greg Goldstone to make the cross. Plays it back to the back part of the 18, headed in, a head on goal, and tapped oh. up out of play. Good save there by Clark Stridesburg. It's flick, but it's taken away. Played towards the middle, and a check right there Ooh. by England. Going down is Casicio. And Burn Burton is, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound like a homer, but their physical play is getting a little chippy here. Yeah, that was actually uh, Seth Hepburn who took the shot. He, and uh, certainly a, a shoulder was dropped on that play. The trajectory and momentum were in the straight direction, but uh, definitely a, a shoulder, shoulder was dropped. The ball played long. Hayes Ward with a diving header. Is that Goldstone going to make the cross here? Puts it right in the middle, perfect position. Header goes just wide to make it in time. Goldstone, big cross, goes across and hit out by Beal. Beal's did a very nice job in the air in the uh, right full spot for U32 today. Not taking it this time. Blasted towards the net and a save. Made by Clark Stridesburg, good hands. I so, believe that is the case. That wraps up half number one. A pretty exciting first half for a 0-0 score as both teams have played very well. I think the Raiders have, for the most part, I think controlled possession, but the Burn Burton Bulldogs have gotten more attempts towards the goal. Set to go here, second half, Division II state championship game, Raiders versus Bulldogs. Big story in this one, just about two minutes into the first half, the Raiders lost Jack Schaefer, I believe it's gonna be for the remainder of the game. No signs of him coming in in half number two. He's trying to attack, a nice little back flick, it goes to Antanasio. Antanasio down the left wing, battles with Ward, and Ward. And great play there by Hayes Ward in the throw in coming for U32. Ward just muscled through Antanasio that time. And, Excuse uh, me, that's not nothing. Ward, that's the youngster Ian Beal. Oh, Beal uh, showing a lot of power and strength. It's like former Raider captain, Ryan Shea has made it over the sidelines, standing next to his brother. I know we, I had talked to him during the Raiders semifinal win over Montpelier. It said he was more nervous. He was in Massachusetts at school. He was more nervous there than he ever was playing. Well, when you're on the field, you have an effect on the outcome. Certainly uh, just uh, cheering from a distance, uh, you feel a little bit helpless. A real far distance. He was waiting for text message updates every <laughs> couple minutes from his dad. Nope, they switch it up. Antanasio rips it towards the net, but gonna go over by about three feet. Time in the middle, finds Hirsch. Hirsch moves to his left in firing distance, rips it towards the net, deflected, oh. and a grab there as Goldstone plays it up inside the box, ripped towards the net, and a save. Clark Stridesburg. Good play by Stridesburg. I lie, Daniel chasing down, but making the move. Good play there by Sean Paradis. Paradis crosses it open, ripped at the net, just wide right. And a big sigh of relief as that was nearly buried in the back of the net. The Bulldogs have been smart with their throw-ins. They're just trying to get possession in. Battling on the sideline, goes out of bounds. Raiders throw in. Casicio wins tackles. That's, uh, that's one great thing he does back there. Usually plays the defensive uh, midfield. And, uh, I, you know, the, the games we've watched him, he uh, wins the tackles probably three out of every four times on 50-50 balls. Daniel loses it off the end line as he got the shot in towards the net as he was battling with Sean Paradis. It's a step too late before he uh, did make that cross. Great hustle, though. 
This is one of those instances where you're going to miss Jack Shea. Certainly uh, nobody gets up for these uh, air balls like Jack Shea does. Crossed by Elmore short. Ends up at the feet of oh. Hirsch, and Hirsch puts it through the uprights. You like the power that Hirsch got on that one. It just drifted up on him, but a great opportunity for U32 there. Johnson, fresh legs, and he's getting after it there on the sideline and plays it off of the Bulldog defender. Good play there by Johnson. Russell Johnson, another freshman for the Raiders. The Antonazio, and a good play, but Antonazio comes out of the pack with it. Two men to beat, makes a move to his right, plays it back to Goldstone, but Ray Hill makes the deflection, and coming from behind on the hustle was Stoff. I'd like to see the uh, way the U32 defense really worked together and uh, was able to cover each other on uh, the misplays and, and pick up. That's again, systematic defense where everybody knows where to be and how to pick up and double cover uh, any attack like that. Heading off to get a break is Harry Forbes. He's been a big part of the defense and offense. Played ahead, Danielle ahead of the pack, loose. And almost a big time play by the sophomore. Barba gets it back. Danielle on the wing, sending it long, looking for Johnson. Johnson runs under it, but out comes Mike Nolan to make the play. The throw in, headed out by Brock Allen, ends up at the feet of Basic, goes in, trickles into the box, and out slides Clark Streisberg as Antanasio was doing everything in his power to beat Strasburg to the ball. Headed up, ends up with Basic. Basic plays it over to Goldstone. Back to Antanasio, and a big time defensive play by Beal. Well, if you had to pick a play of the game right now, I'd say that play by the sophomore Ian Beal could be hit because that was a huge opportunity for the Bulldogs. Beal took it out of Stridesburg's hand and knocked it out of bounds, out of danger, all on his own. Field, Bulldogs looking to attack. This game has really been a game of shifts in power as both teams have had solid chunks of time where they're controlling possession. In the box, ripped right side of the goal! What a play there by number 21, Greg Goldstone. And just like that, the Burr and Burton Academy Bulldogs have a 1-0 lead, and the Raiders have 11 and a half minutes to try to respond. Big cross in the box, headed out. Big play there, and I believe oh. Liam Keller as oh. Brock Allen. Just got run over a little he bit. He just uh, gave up his body, climbed right up on Condi and did a flip, landing on his sh back and shoulders. Here. The cross put in, back corner, header Brock Allen just left of the crossbar. Nice effort by Allen to get up for that one, and it was a nice thought, a great opportunity for U32, just wide left though. Nice cross by Casicio. Way, 3.25 remaining, and U32 trailing this one, 1-0 one to Burren Burton. Goldsmith plays it back corner, wide open, but the header goes wide left. Out, and it goes all the way back. No one running under it, ends up at the feet of Goldstone. Goldstone ahead of the pack. He's chased down, bumped off by Stoff, and we'll get a foul. Not much you can do there if you're the Raiders, at least Stoff went ahead and did it outside of the penalty box. They certainly did it at the right time, but it's, uh, you know, this Burn Burton team can take their time, 35 seconds on the clock, and uh, they can really make this one last for that, just about that whole 30 seconds. Tough break there, though. They try to spend some time, pushed down from behind by Danielle. And that, Brings a conclusion to this game. Shea out there and to be injured early on in the match. You know, who knows what would have happened in this one, but the player of the match for U32 was clearly Casicio. He, uh, he was all over the field. He had a great game controlling out there for the Raiders, both defensively and offensively. So uh, certainly our CVTSport.net uh, U32 Raider player of the game is Cole Casicio. And final score, final time. The Burr and Burton Academy Bulldogs won, the U32 Raiders 0.